Chapter 1, Section 1.1 Section 1.1 talks about how all forms of life share common properties. The first thing we need to discuss is what is biology. Biology is a scientific study of life, and with that we raise the obvious questions. What is life? What distinguishes living things from non-living things? For example, even a small child realizes that a bug is alive while a rock is not. They recognize life mainly by what living things do. There are seven ways we can use as properties of life. The first one is called order. This sunflower right here depicts the highly ordered structure that typifies life. Living cells are the basis of this complex organization. The second property of life is called reproduction. This is the ability of organisms to produce their own kind. Here we see an emperor penguin protecting its baby. The third is called growth and development. This is consistent growth and development controlled by inherited DNA. Inherited information in the form of DNA controls the pattern of growth and development of all organisms, including this hatching crocodile. The fourth is called energy processing. The use of chemical energy to power an organism's activities and chemical reactions. So here we see when this bear eats its catch, it will use the chemical energy stored in the fish to power its own activities and chemical reactions. The fifth is called response to the environment. This is the ability to respond to an environmental stimuli. So all organisms respond to the stimuli. This Venus fly trap closed its trap rapidly in response to the stimulus of a fly landing on it. Shown here. The sixth is called regulation. This is an ability to control an organism's internal environment within limits to sustain life. So many types of mechanisms regulate an organism's internal environment, keeping it within limits that sustain life. Pictured here is a typical lemur behavior with a regulatory function called sunbathing, which helps raise the animal's body temperature on cold mornings. This can also be when you run. What do you do? You sweat. This is a way you use regulation. The seventh is called evolutionary adaptation. Adaptations evolve over many generations as individuals with traits best suited to their environments. They have greater reproductive success and pass their traits to their offspring. So here we see a leaf-like appearance. This is just like you see the chameleons. They change colors. This eventually will evolutionize and they will keep the leaf-like appearance. So now that we know the seven properties of life, Make sure you remember them, but also how to use them. That is what we are about to do. We are going to review this. For each of the practice problems, I would like for you to guess what process is being used. You can pause the video. I will give you time, but please try to practice this on your own. Right here we see a jackrabbit. The large ears are used in cooling by radiating heat via a large network of blood vessels found in the ear. Please pause the video and guess your answer. Okay, so the large ears are used by cooling. If you remember, that is called regulation. This is when they use their internal environments. The second one, this is a plant bending towards the light. What do you think this is? This is energy processing. Remember that plants have developed a number of strategies to capture the maximum amount of sunlight. Through their leaves, as we know from looking at plants on a windowsill, they grow toward the sunlight to be able to generate energy by photosynthesis. And our last but not least, this is skeletal muscle. This is the striations in skeletal muscle. What do you think this is? This is ordered. Remember that everything has a pattern with order. So hopefully you understand how to use the properties of life because now we are going to move on to the life's hierarchy.